In this video, I'm going to show you how to check your computer memory's health. If you suspect that yours is faulty, or if you just want to check that your computer memory is all OK, then you've come to the right place. We're going to use a free program called Memtest86. This program works with 32 and 64-bit computers, Intel and AMD, laptops and desktops, all types of memory, and all versions of Windows 10, 8 and 7, and various other operating systems as well. This is a third-party program, but you don't have to install this program onto your computer. You only need to download it. But just before we do though, we need to do a quick check to see if your computer uses UEFI or the older legacy BIOS. So click in the search box and type System Information, then click on it. And just here where it reads BIOS mode, if your computer uses UEFI, it will say so right here. And if it uses the older legacy BIOS, it will say legacy instead. So take note of that. Then close this window and go to mentest86.com. If your computer does use UEFI, you can click here to download the latest version of Memtest86. But if your computer uses the older legacy BIOS instead, then you'll need to download Mentest86 version 4. To download version 4, click on the product page, then download. Scroll down, and here you can download an image for a CD drive, a USB drive, or a floppy drive. I would recommend choosing the USB drive download. Once you've downloaded Memtest86, whether that's version 4 or the latest version, Close this window, find your downloaded file, right click on it and select Extract All. Make sure this box has a tick in it, then choose Extract. Now plug a USB flash drive into your computer. We're going to write Memtest86 to the flash drive, which will wipe everything off of it. So if you have anything on your flash drive that you want to keep, then save it to your computer first. Next, double click on the image USB file and this window will show up. Your USB drive will appear here automatically, so select the flash drive you want to install Memtest86 onto, then make sure right image to USB drive is selected. If you've downloaded Memtest86 version 4, it will say right to UFD just here, so if yours says right to UFD, then select that instead. Next, click on Write. And here it says, you have chosen to write an image to the USB drive. Click on Yes. And you get a final warning saying that all data on the selected USB drive will be erased. Do you want to continue? If you've already backed up the data that's on your USB flash drive, or if there's nothing on the flash drive that you care about, then click on Yes. Once this is finished, we can close all windows. By the way, I've had to switch to recording the screen on a camera here, so that's why it looks a little different. OK, back to it. Now we need to boot up from the USB flash drive to start up the memory test. If your computer uses UEFI, as we discussed earlier, then press and hold down the Shift key on your keyboard and click on Restart. Then when you see this screen, click on Use a Device then select your USB flash drive. Memtest86 will then start up automatically after about 10 seconds and will then check your computer's memory. Now I'm going to show you how to boot up from a USB flash drive on a computer that uses legacy BIOS. So restart the computer. Then as it's restarting, but before Windows starts up, your screen will usually say which key to press to get into your boot menu, or it might say boot order or boot options. The key to press is often one of these. Keep tapping the appropriate key for your computer to get into the boot menu. Then when it appears, choose to boot from your USB flash drive by highlighting it and pressing enter. There's no need to press any keys from here as Memtest86 will start up by itself after a few seconds. 
So what you're seeing here is Memtest 86 version 4 for those that have the older legacy BIOS. I'll take you through this, then I'll show you the latest version of Memtest 86 for those that have UEFI. So here it's showing you which test is currently running. There are 10 tests in total, and once all 10 tests have completed, it will show pass 1 just here. It's best to do at least 4 passes, so that all 10 tests have run 4 times over, and your memory has been thoroughly checked for any problems. Even though the same tests are being run again and again, sometimes computer memory can have a temperamental problem that might not show up until this has been running for quite a while. So keep running this test until you see it show at least pass 4 just here. This took 4 hours to get to pass 4 on the computer I was using. Yours might be quicker, or it might take longer, but either way, you need to leave quite a bit of time for this test to run. I took a photo of a computer that was running Memtest 86, and it found an error, as you can see just here, and some information about that error is displayed just here. Even if just one error is found, this problem needs to be addressed, which I'll talk about at the end of this video. The only thing we want to see here is no errors. This test will keep running until you stop it. You can stop the test at any time by pressing the escape key. Your computer will then automatically boot back into Windows. So let's take a look at the latest version of Memtest 86. The one I'm using here is version 8, which was the latest version at the time of this recording. So here it's showing us which test is currently running. There are 13 tests in total. All 13 tests will be run 4 times over. Leaving this to run to its completion took a little over 3 hours on the computer that I was using, but it could be quicker on yours, or it could take longer, so leave plenty of time to run this. This test will stop running after it has completed 4 passes. If no errors are found, then your memory is ok. By the way, you can stop this program from running at any time by pressing the escape key. So now this is finished, we can press any key to see a summary. Then press any key to continue. Now press the letter N to continue, or Y to save a report. I'm going to press N to continue. Then press the letter X to exit out of the program. Windows will then start up automatically. So let's talk about memory errors. If the test found no errors, then your computer's memory is all OK. But if it found one or more errors, this can cause many problems, such as your computer freezing up for a second, or freezing up completely, a blue screen of death appearing, and it could cause all kinds of glitches. So what do you do if Memtest86 told you that there was a problem found with your computer's memory? Well, if you have more than one memory module, you could try removing any power sources from your computer, then take out one memory stick, and run the test again to see if just one memory stick is faulty. Try blowing out any dust from the memory slot with a can of compressed air. You could check to see if your memory is getting too hot with one of these devices. Links in the description if you'd like one of these. If you've overclocked your memory, Try dialing back the overclock to see if that fixes it. Or you could just replace your computer's memory, as this is what often cures the problem. So that's how to check your computer memory's health. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.